Hi, it's Tessa again, and I just wanted to hop on and film my July favorites. I can't believe it's July going into August already. Crazy. So I'm going to jump right into it. I have this little basket of favorites. The first thing I have is the NYX Cream Blush, and the color is Glow. It looks like this. You can see I put a really good dent in it. Um, there's a swatch there. It's just a pretty pink color. Love that. Better get some kind of rag or something or else. It's going to be everywhere. Okay. Then for a lip product, I have the Bonneville Lip Lights. And I think this is strawberry something. Mine does not have a name on it. But I'm going to put it on my lips now. So pretty. Just a nice nude pinky color. Love it. And they're only like two something at Walmart. Then I had my tried and true Wet n Wild's Walking on Eggshells palette. Another love of mine. I wear this all the time. Especially, it's really nice whenever I get up in the morning and get ready to go to work. So I can just slap this little trio on and off I go. Then I have this Essence Eyeshadow in Party All Night. This is a recent purchase of mine. Gorgeous color. Um, really, really pretty. Like a brown taupe color. Love it. Then I have one that's one of my favorites before. The Jordana Best Lash Extreme. Best mascara I've ever used. And the wand is just a traditional wand. It's not too fat, not too skinny. Just the perfect mascara. Then I have the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. When I first got this, I wasn't really a fan, but um, as I wore it more, I realized that this is really keeping me matte during the day, and I never tried any kind of mattifying cream or product before, and this is great. Um, what I do is rub it all over my face, and then after it's on there, then I pat, like pat all over to get it into my pores, and it works wonderful. This is a new one. Um, I haven't had it very long, but the color is amazing, and this is the only CoverGirl blush I own, and this is in Plumberry Glow. It looks like this. I was shocked at how highly pigmented it was. Can you see that there? Put it on the back of my hand. You can see just how pigmented that is. It's so pretty. And it gives a nice little sheen to the cheeks. To the cheeks. <laughs> to the cheeks. Um... I have a bunch of nail products, and they're all in the family of blue, because I've just been loving blue polishes this month, blue, mint, whatever. The first one is the Rimmel 60 Second Nail Polish, it's what I have on my nails today. This is in Mint Delicious. This dries super quick. I love that about it. It's so fast. The only downfall about it drying so fast is you have to work fast with it, because it'll dry while you're using it. The next one is also a gorgeous color. It's Revlon Colors Today, and it's in Coastal Surf. It's a very pretty blue. I would say um, it's not light and it's not medium. It's somewhere in between. Very pretty. Another one I have is in Sinful Colors, and it's called C'est La Vie. It's also a really pretty blue, and you can tell there is a difference in these blues. I'm not just wearing the same color every day. And the last one is one I got this month, and this is the Emma Jean Scented Polishes, and I can leave a link for her website below, and it's five free um, in blueberry tart, and it does smell like blueberries, which is kind of um, different because it smells like blueberries. The last thing I have is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Anti-Chip anti Top Coat. This dries literally in 30 seconds, so if you compare or compare. If you pair the Rimmel 60 second with this, your nails are done in like no time. The last two things I have are the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation, and my color is 220 Nude. Um, this is the third pot I have bought of this. And when I first bought it, I hated it, and I've grown to love it, and it's been in a favorite several times, and I think it'll continue to be a favorite because it's an awesome foundation. Best applied either with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush or the Sigma F84, which is the angled 
kabuki, but not the flat flat top, just the angled kabuki. And the final thing I have is the Sleek Candy Collection Sweet Cheeks Blush. This is a fantastic blush palette. This is Candy Floss, Dolly Mix, and Cupcake. Um, the Cupcake one is a... Look how pigmented these are. That one, and then this one is a cream. So, two powders and one cream. I'll swatch these on my hand so you can just see how pigmented they are. There they are my hand. I love these. My friend Deanna sent them to me, and it's been a favorite ever since I got them because they are so pigmented. You only need a light hand with them, and they go a long way. All right, so that is my July favorites, and I will see you again for another July favorites in uh, another July favorites in August. <laughs> Sometimes you say things and you're like, "What?" Another favorites in August for August. Yeah, I'm so messed up today. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I am on muscle relaxers because I have a muscle spasm in my neck, so maybe I'm a little loopy today. Um, but that is everything, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.